In his remarks about the budget, Chairman Austin said, quote, I am not happy with this budget either. It is not a Skip Austin budget. Everybody has their fingerprints on it. In his defensive remarks, Chairman Austin put the blame on the voters. The voters passed a budget. He meant to say bonds. Bonds of $651 million in 2008. When we passed the bond referendums for the schools, for the jails, it was told then that it would result in an eight cent tax increase the following year. <clears throat> Emphatically, he said, the public knew that, okay? Chairman Austin blamed the voters, the voters who may or may not be the taxpayer. He said that the tax increase was not his doing that, doing, but that of voter will. But Chairman Austin has shown a failure of reasoning that renders his argument invalid. If we are to believe Chairman Austin's argument that the voters compelled the tax increase, then you would have to logically point out that the three straight ballot defeats of the sales tax increase are also the voters' will. Chairman Austin's defense of the voters' will could also be used to argue against the tax increase. So why, Chairman Austin, why would the argument weigh more on one side than the other? If we are to believe that Chairman Austin makes a valid logical argument, then it is an equivalent argument for the other side of the issue. But his argument was just a hoax. It was not the bond referendum that caused the tax increase. Rather, it was the commissioners. According to the chairman, as he pointed out, quote, everyone wanted this, everyone wanted that. That's how you get to six votes. The seven commissioners that voted for the budget each put their self-interest, their pet project, themselves ahead of the greater good of all of Guilford County. The commissioners, without, quote, looking at everything, the details, the facts, without weighing it all out, the commissioners merely picked winners and losers, and then they hid behind a fallacy. Thank you.